everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Valley of the Sun and State Farm Stadium here in Glendale. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Indianapolis Colts and the Air Cardinals. This fielded at the two. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. Andrew Luck now ready to lead this Colts offense. Comeback player of the year in 2018, and for good reason. Remember, he missed the entirety of the previous season in 2017, but he rebounded to throw 39 touchdown passes and lead the Colts to a playoff berth. the second year back out of NC State, Naheem Hines. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. The last run got six, now second and four. They run the counter. Hines. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 15 yards on the play. First down. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. This is Marlon Mack, third year running back. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. From just shy of midfield, Luck. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a first down, a gain of 10. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so, and gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it, and really gets them amped up as they go forward. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. And we look now at the offense for Indianapolis. Brian Kelly's a great example of how valuable centers have become in the NFL. A former first-round pick, he was plugged in immediately to be a starter to handle big nose tackles as well as blitzing linebackers and also able to move and get out into the run game and get to the second and third level and deliver blocks. So a line of scrimmage still to 39 on second and 10. Now Luck, that's complete to Jack Doyle, the tight end. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A gain of 13, it's a first down. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in the paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker, can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? And the 11 defensive starters for Arizona. Chandler Jones just keeps getting better and better. Each season, he adds a little more to his game. I wonder if he wants to take on his UFC fighting brother in any time. A 
officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Here's Locke. And this will complete right side to Funches. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't seem to want it. For mine. You know, you, you were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch. And most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. No score after one on EA Sports. Completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. This is Hines. everybody it's the right at the convergence of the three rivers on art rooney drive we welcome you to heinz field in pittsburgh pennsylvania coming up we've got what should prove to be a good one between the detroit lions and the pittsburgh steelers this is fielded a couple yards deep And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Out comes the 37-year-old Ben Roethlisberger, ready to lead the Steelers. And he led the entire NFL in passing yards in 2018, the second time that he's owned that honor. Four now, here's first and ten. This is a guy who made a Pro Bowl in his second season, James Conner. And not the start he was hoping for there, as he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. And let's take a look at the Steeler offense. 
And now the spotlight falls on wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster because with the acrimonious departure of Antonio Brown to Oakland and Le'Veon Bell moving on to the New York Jets, he is truly the number one target for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Play fake to Connor. Now Roethlisberger. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. And now the Lions' defensive starters. As the Detroit Lions continue to rebuild their defense, they were so excited about the opportunity to acquire defensive end Trey Flowers from New England, who always put on big performances in the playoffs and in Super Bowls. And now the Lions looking forward to seeing that game in and game out. Seven and a half sacks is his career high. They'd love to see that number get to double digits. Now some movement before the snap. Offense. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. And that'll set him back five. Still third down. This third down just got even more difficult. Third down and 15 after the false start. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Over the middle, complete. That's Connor. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. comes the Steeler punter Jordan Berry to kick it away. Jamal Agnew is deep to return it. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. Look at Carrion Johnson, second-year man out of Auburn. Able to make one man miss, but he will be corralled around the 10-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Stafford off the bootleg. Bud Dupree, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Now this is where field awareness comes into play. He's getting perilously close to his own goal line, and after that sack, backed up to his own two. After the sack, they'll come up now, third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. And indeed, that's what they'll do as they run it here. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. Well, we, we thought 
these two defenses, they might come to play. One has already come to play here, a safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's pile this play away because if it turns out to be a tight game, who knows? This could wind up being the difference. 